thank you. She turned off the windshield wipers. She's great. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to a hearing test right now to, I guess, officially diagnose my hyperacusis. I'm going to be talking about treatment options because uh, I've done some research on it. And uh, so, yeah, we'll see what happens. The test is supposed to take about half an hour to 45 minutes. And then I meet with my ENT specialist after that. And then later this afternoon, I have an appointment with my neurologist. So we'll be talking about medication, making sure my checkup is okay, all that fun stuff. And um, other than that, that's about it. Mom, how are you feeling? Hi. How am I feeling? Yeah. I don't know. I'm feeling a little tired. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired too. I'm excited to find out what, you know, what's up. Okay, that's good. Okay, so that's that. I'll check back with you soon. because it's too noisy in the waiting room. It turns out that I do have hyperacusis, which I already knew, and I can only tolerate about 50 decibels, and a normal person with normal regular hearing would be able to tolerate 100 decibels, so I'm about half. So that was pretty surprising to me, but at least I know and now I'm waiting to be seen by the ENT specialist to continue to talk about options, but I have two options. Either I go private or I go um, to a treatment program that they have here in the city and um, do some work with them. So yeah, it's been a long journey, so I'm just looking forward to getting back to normal life. All right, I'll check back soon. So the end result was that I don't have any structural damage to my ears. However, I can't tolerate sound like a normal person can. In other words, I've been referred to some treatment centers to be able to help with the hyperacusis and the fact that I can only tolerate half of what a normal person can. And the ENT specialist was happy that I didn't have any damage, which, okay, good. I'm very happy too. That's, that's a good point to make. However, uh, I'm still left with not being able to resume my life in the way that I would like. So, how do you feel, mom? It's a mystery. I know, it is a mystery. Never can get concrete answers. I agree. Story of my life <laughs> for the last year. That's what it's been. Not being able to get full concrete answers, so. Lord help me. Anyways. Okay, well, I'm gonna check back later. Later this afternoon, I have my appointment with my neurologist, and I will be telling him all of this. And we'll see what he has to say. caught in construction now and a little bit late for my appointment but only like probably 10 minutes by the time we get there so this is life right now yep I can relate
front of the pharmacy. And it's not pronounced Pharma Pricks, it's pronounced Pharma Pre. <laughs> this is the equivalent of Shoppers Drug Mart. This is the last stop of our day. The uh, neurology appointment went well. I have a new prescription for another medication to try and see if it helps with the anxiety. We'll see if that works or not. But I'm a little bit of a celebrity here because everyone at the pharmacy knows me. So that's what's nice about being sick sometimes. Anyways. Oh man, it's a, it's a full house today. I just need to find my prescription. Hey, Hi, I'm good. How are you? Hi. <laughs> Many hours later. I'm just kind of processing what the day's events have been like. I don't want to resign myself to not being able to live my life how I'd like to. Yes, I can accept what the doctors and stuff are telling me, but I don't have to let that uh, impede my ability to be happy. I don't have to let that impede my ability to um, try to move on in some way and to actually like live my life because like I can't even like go out to places and so I think what today has taught me is that I'm gonna fight even more now I'm gonna fight as hard as I can because now this has made me upset. I just won't let this beat me. I'm not going to let this win. I can't let it win. So, if you are dealing with anything that you're dealing with, don't let it ruin you. I'm not letting what I'm dealing with ruin me. Because I can't. I feel like I have so much more to give in my life. I'm in my late 20s, so it's like... I have my whole life ahead of me, so I just will not let this thing beat me. Okay, I'm going to stop crying and uh, have some chocolate, and I think I will be good for the rest of the evening. Thank you for watching. If you've liked this video, <laughs> and if this video has spoken to you, I hope that you can give it a like right down there. And if you haven't already subscribed, then I would love for you to join the family. I hope you have a good rest of your day. See you.